The process continues as the scars from the devastation and explosion in Northwest Baltimore remain. It was one year ago today. Two people were killed, three homes destroyed, and many more damaged when a house exploded on Labyrinth Road. WMAR 2 News Ray Strickland spoke to one witness from that day who compared what happened that day to a war zone. This fence is now surrounding an empty lot on Labyrinth Road where three homes once stood. It's a constant reminder of the deadly explosion from last year, a tragedy for this community and the impacted families who have yet to heal. Edward Parham says he remembers the explosion like it was yesterday. The screams, the cries, and the fear of the unknown. You wonder for the first day who was under that pile when they hadn't found anybody. What person did I see walk past me that I've greeted before that have greeted me that's under that pile? And that was emotional for me. What he recalls was utter devastation. He compared it to a war zone. Three homes were reduced to rubble as crews searched for victims through the night. Forty homes were also damaged in the blast, including Parham's. Seven people were also hurt. The night after it happened, I'm watching nightly news at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I see this makeshift memorial on the edge of my yard. That was surreal. The explosion ultimately claimed the lives of two people, 61-year-old Lonnie Harriet and 20-year-old Morgan State University student Joseph Graham. Investigators say the blast was caused by a natural gas buildup in one of the homes and ignited when someone turned on their stove. And so now to be a year past that, and we've already started the healing process, um, it, it's great how everybody's really come together. And you see uh, just how everybody from all walks of life stepped up to the plate and provided anything that was necessary. At Falstaff Elementary and Middle School, the community's national night out event was pushed back so it could be held on the one year anniversary of the explosion. Joseph's family was there passing out school supplies for kids. It was a part of their new foundation in his honor called Chase a Legacy Joseph C. Graham Inc. But for them and the Labyrinth Road community, the healing process is far from over. Parham says that day will stay with him for the rest of his life. I'll never forget it. And Councilman Schleifer says the city will continue to provide support for this community and the families impacted by the explosion. Reporting in Baltimore, I'm Ray Strickland, WMAR2 News.